Hello, hello, everybody. Okay, we got our cute face so that hopefully it gets saved on our live message. So that when the video doesn't start, we're not uh, like... Anyway. That's totally good. <laughs> you guys, guys want to see that one again? If that's, totally, here. that's totally going to be this the... Is how we'll uh, be that's what would show up. Uh -huh. When you search for our video, that's what you're going to see. You're going to see mm -hmm. our face. Mm -hmm. All right, we oh, um, are coming to you earlier a little bit earlier mm -hmm. and i think we're gonna go with this time and for those of you that like the nine o'clock slot we're so sorry but we found that this um is so awesome for us too that it's actually energizing us yeah and we get all pumped up and we don't sleep and then we don't sleep yeah. so we figured if we push it 30 minutes that maybe that gives us a little more time to settle down we like yeah like we take baths and we like to do our chill, and read and chill. And... so yeah yes. so we're here 8 30 um, we're excited to see hey, you guys. Hey. hey, everybody. Hey, Auntie Diane. Um, representing WFC. WFC, since I'm not in the office. Yep. I'm so, with you in my I heart. Mean, we are currently still there. Yeah, um, for anyone's I, wondering, anyone's we're wondering, still wondering, we're still open. We have extensive. In fact, I'm going to make a video of our our screening, cleaning, sanitation protocol. Yeah, it's, it's intense. It's intensive. It's intense. But. We should be doing it. It's mandatory. Yeah, it's well, it's not. There's a lot of people that aren't doing that. Believe it or not, like a lot of businesses, other places that aren't doing it. Very important that you're do, taking these extra. We have to protect our mm. peeps. Yep. We love our peeps. We got to protect you guys. Yeah. And yeah, so Speaking and we're in healthcare, protection. so we hold ourselves to a higher standard. Anyway. Speaking of helping our people not hurt yep. themselves. So a lot of people are hurting themselves. A lot of people are hurting themselves. The Why title is that, Jake? Is that we all are weekend warriors, but our weekend is kind of a never-ending weekend right now mm -hmm. so we're doing things like yard work or exercise and all these things that our bodies aren't used to and painting garage are, floors yeah ceilings uh -huh. paint anything yeah and then paint it again yeah paint cardboard <laughs> so we paint all of it but that's so, what's happening yeah and this is good though by the way i don't want to discourage that no no I want no, no, people no. To continue to do yeah it. let's mm -hmm. let's put a disclaimer yeah. if we could if i like had one of those fancy and i was like i could point like and then, like, our disclaimer came across the top. I'm going to figure that out. I'm going to figure out how to do that. Happen. Our disclaimer would be, don't stop doing things. Yeah. Please keep moving your body. Mm -hmm. Please keep yourself busy. Keep yourself occupied. It helps distract us from the stress. Distractions, positive distractions positive are Positive distractions important. are good. So. so if you're doing activities, do it. However, it's really, really important right now that you don't injure yourself yeah. for lots of reasons. And if you want to, obviously... No major injuries, herniated disc, whatever it is, and you end up like in the emergency room. That just don't do that. We don't want anyone going if, to the emergency room. If you right hurt now. yourself that bad, we don't come want anyone going to urgent care. A chiropractor, yeah. a physical therapist, yeah. anyone else that does not have anything to do with testing sites. Right. You want to stay out of there. So um, you keep those free. You hurt there. yourself, and then honestly, like right now, unfortunately, we're at a risk for people that hurt themselves that are scared and they don't want to go out. He hooked on painkillers, which oh, painkillers are a massive issue in the country. It was a health crisis before this health crisis that probably didn't get talked about enough I know. Uh, because of the number of young humans that we've lost to that. So, all right. So, sobering moment over. Hey, how's it going? So, let's do this. Let's talk about, let's just focus in on... A couple things that are... Uh, how we can avoid injuries. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, if you are if you are stepping out and you're doing things you don't normally do, mm -hmm. um, let's just talk through some things that will help you avoid being injured while you're sitting at home. Or while you're not sitting at home, while you're being busy at home. So, these are just general things. So, one thing we have to learn about, or really understand about the pulley system, the musculoskeletal system mm -hmm. of the body. Mm -hmm. um, of all the systems, it's probably the least important system from a survival standpoint right. so our nervous system is more important by far our mm -hmm. organs are more important right. um, then your muscles come last yeah. so when your body is prioritizing nutrients when your body's prioritizing hydration your muscles get the last crack at things so what we'd like to do is start off with very general things we just have a couple, couple yeah, we made a list. Um, Every day, if you're not doing this, you need to be drinking a lot of water. That water is going to, like our bodies just need it for every facet and function. I don't even think I need to really explain that one. No, I think everyone knows about that. I, but, have, I like, There's a recommendation that I like, and it's your body weight divided by two mm -hmm. in ounces. Yep. So easy math. Mm -hmm. You weigh 100 pounds. Drink 50 ounces. <laughs> Drink 50 ounces. Yep, that's what you do. Yep. So uh, make sure you're drinking water. 
make sure you're doing some kind of a daily exercise movement routine. Yes. Doesn't have to be CrossFit. It doesn't no. have to be a Peloton. It doesn't no. have to be running. No. But it should be movements. And if you need help with that, reach out to us. Like, I mean, there's some simple things mm-hmm. you could go for a walk with your children every morning before yep. we do before you do schoolwork. That's what I've been doing. Mm-hmm. We take the dog. We go for a walk. You can walk around the mm-hmm. yard. You can go and pick flowers. I mean, you have your body. You can do yeah. jumping jacks. You can do push-ups. But then also, you can go like, up and down your stairs a bunch of times. Taking your body through full motions, too. Yeah. Like squats and yoga poses, like child's pose. There's things you can do. I have a routine that I subscribe to or recommend to my patients, and I send them links to it. I created a video series um, through our web exercise program mm-hmm. that is just a daily wellness routine. If you do these, it's going to help your spine to stay healthy. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah. some kind of movement. If you're doing those two things, you're going to help. They're going to avoid that, Those lot. two in themselves mm-hmm. are yep. going to help you tremendously. All right. So, Catherine, go ahead and talk a little bit about uh, posture. Posture. Okay. Mm-hmm. So this one's really important for those that are uh, working from home right now or for those parents that are helping to school their children from home. Mm-hmm. Because you're probably most likely not sitting in an ergonomically correct chair. Um, You're most likely sitting at the dining room table or even Mm -hmm. on the couch or recliner. And so your posture is going to be more slouched. slouched. You know, you're going to be sitting back, maybe have your knees up. And so sitting in those positions for prolonged periods of time are going to cause some sort of injury to the spine. Yeah. And it's going to make you uncomfortable and it's going to make it harder to do the things you have to do. So one of the ways is just to be mindful of how you're sitting. One way you can do that is utilize your cell phone. Your cell phone has so many great functions and it has one of the best, which is a timer. And you have, you know, for those that have iPhones, you have Siri. So you can just say, hey Siri, set a timer for 30 minutes. You're going to go and you're going to sit down and you're going to do your work. You're going to be working with your children. Your timer's going to go off and you're going to say, oh, what's my timer going off for? And then you're going to remember, oh, I got to check my posture. Yep. And so check in to see how you're sitting. Are, again, is your sh- are your shoulders relaxed? Are you sitting back? Do some quick postural exercises. Yeah, like, use that opportunity. Take that Sorry, moment and just link your hands in between your, your fingers great together. Idea. Great, great, great Put idea. your hands behind your head yep. and just push. Hold that for 10 seconds. It doesn't yep. have to be hard. I'm not trying to like win a, a battle with myself. Mm-hmm. I'm literally just pushing into my hands. and just holding that for 10 seconds. And I stop. Mm-hmm. Do it again for 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. That will save your neck if you're on your computer. So 10 seconds on, 10 seconds off, 10 seconds on, do it five times. Um, Do that a couple times a day. That's going to take a ton of strain and stress off of your your neck. Yep. You Um, can get up from where you're sitting. Yep. You can do some squats. Yep. You can stretch. Stretch to the side. Mm -hmm. Stretch to the other side. Yep. doesn't have to be anything monumental. Just some movement so you're not staying in the same position. So um, if you do are, have to commit to a significant amount of work, so there are so many people that have to work from home and yeah, they're putting and they're, in the same like, amount of hours that they're more. doing, right, yeah. um, that they would in their workplace, then please, please utilize some positive work space. So try to find a desk in your house. Um, if you can, that it's not too much of a distraction. Yeah. The kitchen counter, maybe mm-hmm. your bathroom counter, if you've got to get away from the kids, yep. where you're raising up your computer and you're standing, uh, but just if you're going to be in it for a long periods of time, try really hard to just be mindful of how you're sitting. Hopefully, if you have a sitting. laptop, which again isn't ideal for a workstation long term, but this hopefully is not a long term thing. Right. Move it around, like yeah. do work like at some place and then move it to another place. Yeah. So at least you're changing up how things Absolutely. are. So change it can be as good as anything. Absolutely. From sitting to standing. Um, if yeah. you hurt yourself, so we're gonna we have a couple things we're gonna break this down, but if you do hurt yourself. Um, two main things that we like to do, if it's like Mm -hmm. a sharp pain and like you really hurt yourself, ice that thing immediately. Yeah. 20 minutes of really good contact skin ice, you know, thin piece of paper towel in between. Mm -hmm. Get that thing as cold as you can. You want it to go numb. That would be, um, what you want to do with the ice. If it's more like you're just achy and sore, um, or sometimes we'll get those pinpoints in our back. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Like you can... Yep. Ice like right oh it's like right there. That yeah, yeah. So bad. Or like even like in the ribs, like you take a breath, yep. you know. Those are great for oh I'm out of the, the frame there. <laughs> um that's hard because it's it's so small. It's okay. It's one, okay. I'll big. move over here. Thank you. We'll do this. Hog all the space. Um so you want to Epsom salt bath, you know, for those achiness. But if it's an acute yeah. like pain pain, don't Epsom salt bath. I find that um the heat can sometimes make it worse. And let's side note, excuse mm-hmm. me. <clears throat> 
If this is pain that you've never felt before and this feels really extreme, it's affecting your ability to do your day-to-day -day work, you need to call us. Yep. And we will you, we will help you or we will get you connected with someone in your community, like a chiropractor or a physical therapist that will help you. We don't want you to suffer with extreme pain mm -hmm. if there's a significant injury. But if we've got some low grade, just discomfort, just you just muscles don't feel right. I'm just perfect example, our yeah. son. Yeah, so our son, our son yep. who's 12 years old, yeah. uh, was not, and this is, you know, my fault. I was not paying attention to his posture the other day. Technology posture. Um, just technology. And, you know, he's on his iPad doing all of his schoolwork. And he um, came to me right before bed and was like, Mom, I have this horrible pain under my shoulder blade. It hurts when I breathe. I mean, he, it hurts so badly. Um, now his mom's a chiropractor, so I did adjust him. Yep. Um, but it wasn't until he woke up that he took an Epsom salt bath. And afterward, I said, how are you feeling? And he said, oh, I feel 100%. I feel so much better. Yep. So icing, like we said, or the Epsom salt mm -hmm. bath. I want you to talk a little bit about what that means to take an Epsom salt bath. Like so Epsom the temperature, salt. the amount. Yeah, you want it to, just real quick, we'll say hi to Hillary, Dr. Linda, Sarah. Uh, Amit, Sarah. Thank you guys <laughs> for tuning in. Um, anyone, if we missed you, we apologize, but they kind of like scroll through the screen. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Um, so with an Epsom salt, uh, you want the water to be as hot as you can stand it. Mm -hmm. um, there's a couple ways to do it. If you look anywhere, if you Googleify it, um, there's uh, all kinds of like recipes and stuff like that. Sorry. Oh, sorry. I, we, I heard, I I heard, heard noises. We heard children talking that aren't supposed to be talking. Uh, Trouble. And it's our daughter, but I think our oldest son is handling it. Cool. Okay. Yeah. All right. She'll come down if she needs us. Yes. So, anyways, um, hot bath usually as about hot a as you can get it. Cup or so of Epsom salt. Um, you can even put some lavender in there. Like, this is a good method just to get you to sleep and relax. To relax. Well. Yeah. So that's what we do with that. Um, and then finally, um, the other thing that we're doing for our patients now, and actually, I made this shareable. So, guys, scroll down. I can't tell you how much I want this to be shared. This is something we are offering to our community, to our patients, to anyone in need, yeah. that if you hurt them yourselves, you know, and it is that we have to be able to differentiate like between like something dangerously hurt and not, you can call us. We will do a phone call consult with you, get an idea of what's going on, do recommendations like icing, heat, whatever we think that we're gonna need to get you out of the short term and then send you guys digital or exercises yeah. through our exercise platform, Web Exercise, which is gonna come up with these great short videos yeah. um, that are going to show you what to do. That way you can like stay home. Um, we're here yeah. for you if it gets really bad. Like obviously yeah. what we don't want is to increase the problem that we have right now with you know medication abuse and opioid right. crisis and all those things, and then keep people from going to emergency rooms. Right. Um, to see and you don't medical have, doctors and that just kind to of note, stuff. you don't have to be a patient. No, you don't. This like, is our. This is what we. This is our way to help. This is our way to help. You know, yeah. it's and especially like for, I'm not in the office right now, and I want so badly to to pe let people know that mm -hmm. I'm. We're here to help you. So whether you're a patient or not, you can call us. You can email us. You yep. can message us on social media. Yep. We will talk to you free of charge on the phone and help you navigate the severity of your injury and yep. what needs to be handled and if it's something we feel like we can handle over the phone we'll then it. we'll walk you through it if you feel like you need to be seen mm -hmm. we will figure out a way to get you seen either in our office or again in someone in well your and again like i said because of the current environment our sanitation and patient protection procedures are top notch yeah they really the, we'll do really a video are. you yeah. and kelly will do a video tomorrow yeah i mean we're we're doing everything from you know taking people's temperatures there's posted signs on the doors you can't walk in if you have these symptoms they have to wash their hands then they have to come back with a clean sanitized pen that has been sanitized with peroxyclean viral side clean the um fill out a form stating all these questions about you know, like screening for covid and then uh, put the pin in the dirty pen thing and then to be sanitized again. Yeah. Then they go back to a separate room that is more than respecting the social distancing that has again been sanitized and prepared the way it's supposed to be prepared. Yeah. Our daughter is just in the background saying, hey. I don't know if you guys can I, hear her. I, we heard I this voice. Mom, you. Dad, Mom, I'm dead. Mom. All right, I'm going to go check. You guys. No, no, we'll figure it out. We're almost done. Push through this. There's kids running. There are children running. Uh huh. 
I got Did a you thumbs guys up see from that one. in the background? <laughs> Our son going up the stairs, he's like, I got this. <laughs> you better get this. I hope you guys saw that, like, right there. Oh, yeah. Lord. That's a nice thing. This is real. Mm -hmm. This is real. This is, like, no fancy lighting yep. cameras. This is, like, mm -hmm. half PJs. Faux, faux. Haven't real. washed the hair. Yeah. Kids running So, anyways, around. that's part of our offer is, like, we will for free try and yes. help you. Please. Um, if I run out of time to do this, I will help and Dr. Catherine will try and recruit yeah. our friends. Absolutely. Um, give we'll them access to, to our colleagues. platform. Hey, you saw hey, that? Heather. Did you see our crazy <laughs> crew? Yeah. <laughs> I was here in the back. It's like, Dad, Dad. Mm. I thought I thought a bad thought. I know. <laughs> Sweet babies. Uh, all, right, all right, so that's pretty much all we have. Please, so if you see that video, share that video below. I will go out of my way we'll set up a time i already instructed mm -hmm. kelly what we're going to be doing mm -hmm. um and, and we'll Nick, also Dave. link we'll link our yep. office information um, when we ha when we end this um oh, I know. our website great? our um our phone number yeah um, and then again through either of these platforms so yep. if you're watching on instagram if you're walking watching excuse Messages. me on facebook just send a message so we've already instructed kelly like what we're gonna do she or melinda we will be scheduling like on a 15 minute time slot just so I can actually take the time and talk you through it. Yeah. If you're hurt, tell you what to do and then um, get your email address and send out information. Yeah. And I, we have an office phone here so I can work remotely. So mm -hmm. you can call the office and get me yep. here in this house Yeah. so I can talk you through it here. Um, I know, just, Sarah, we, isn't it? Like, that's our first one. Think? She said her kids were yelling all through Kevin's her husband. Like, oh, awesome. Yeah. Cool. Hey, Dave. Hope you guys are doing good, man. Miss you guys too. What's good up, Nick? To, Colorado to holding it down. So good to see all these. Guys. Yeah, it's good to see these faces. Mm -hmm. It's a good so, connection. Yeah, um, we're here for really anyone. Um, Does anyone have any questions about what we talked about as far as you know avoiding injuries while you're staying yeah. home for this? Uh, and the, the platform of time. again that we'll be sharing with is great. Mm -hmm. So if anyone needs these, these are great things. Just reach out to us. We're, oh, the exercises. Yeah, the exercise. Platform. Oh yeah, the exercises. Just so you know, the platform that we use is super super easy. Yeah. It's an email. It gets sent to your inbox. You log into you your log link. in, and the exercises. Not only does it show the exercises, you it tells videos. you. Yeah, there's video showing yep. you how to do it, how many, for how long. Yep, and it's then you can communicate. Really, really awesome. You can communicate to us through about it. Yeah. And I'll follow up with you and everything as well. So, yeah, that's that's our outreach. That's how we're trying to do this. Because we tried to think, like, how can we do this that we can help but not, like, you know, still follow all the guidelines of right, social distancing, right, right. of, you know, trying not to spread any kind of disease or anything right now. And I feel like this is our best way. It is. So please, please share that out. I created a video with a whole like write up about what we're going to be doing. Yeah. I'll probably do it through May ish. I mean, I'm not really putting an end date on it. There's no, no. special small print or anything. I don't no. even know how to create an email list or anything like that. So I'm not efficient. If I wish I was better at that stuff. That's okay. Mm -hmm. We'll learn. One day. One day. One day. All the things, all mm -hmm. the dreams that we have. Yeah. Um, anyway. So that's I it. guess that's it. I mean, yeah. that's really what we wanted to focus Quick on tomorrow. Tonight. And tomorrow night's going to be awesome. Um, we are interviewing uh, doctors Haley Hurd and Megan Arnold out of Houston. Is that tomorrow night? That's tomorrow well, I night. I want to do that. So we're going to have the like, split screen thing. Oh, Insta mm -hmm. people. I, Ooh, yeah, I don't know how we're going to do I it. I don't think you're going to be able to watch it because I, I don't know how to do it. I know how to do it and air it through Facebook. So mm -hmm. if you could hop on, I'm saying this, hop on over because my Facebook phone's over there. And it's just kind of fun to do that. If you could hop on over to um, Facebook, um, yeah. I will put a, um, a message up on our Insta story so that you know how to find us on Facebook. Um, yep. We would love to have you participate. It's going to be live. It's going to be interactive. Um, and it's going to be about supporting your yes. immune system. So supporting your whole body. A couple health. of things we're avoiding right now, and I just so everyone knows, um, you know, Facebook and everyone are really safeguarding certain words and terms like COVID, like support, uh, or like immune system, because right. they don't want people spreading a bunch of stuff like, you know, oh, we can cure this with, you know, if you hold your breath and stand on your foot and drink, you know, a glass of vinegar. Is gonna get rid of this. We we we're not taking any of those risks. So tomorrow's will be one hundred percent straight up about supporting your immune system mm -hmm. because our immune system is our only line of defense right now. Yes. It is our main line of defense to protect ourselves. Mm -hmm. Aside from the medical doctors and the nurses and everyone that are doing our lives too. Who, like let's just pause and 
thank give them. Yeah, thanks huge. to these mm-hmm. people that are out on there. the front line of yeah. this war. Honestly. I mean, but they're they're trying to save your life when you get to the point where you need life savings. Yeah. This is so that God forbid you get it um, or you like come in contact with it your body will be the strongest it can be. It can be. I would say this is like a fight, you know, and if you're going to have a fight, your immune system is your muscles right now. And that's what's going to help you Mm -hmm. fight through, you know, a lot of this. I mean, for everything in life, from, you know, the flu to lots of different illnesses. Let's say, let's be honest, like just having that support to your body and your Mm -hmm. immune system is good for right now because stress yeah. is combating against it your yeah. stress is the stress is like, no 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 sorry you don't have an immune system the, yeah basically when you're under prolonged areas of stress like this your immune system can become suppressed because now you're like in fight or flight and, and we want to keep people healthy right yeah. because so many doctors nurses they're trying to differentiate if people have this virus or if it's just something else and if we could just keep you all as healthy as possible, so we just yeah. decrease the amount of people that feel like they maybe need to get tested. Yeah. I don't even know if I'm allowed to say that, but I'm just—it's in my heart, so I'm going to say it. Um, yep. We just want you to stay as healthy as possible. Yeah, and it's just—it's all about supporting yeah. your immune system. I like the word support because it makes sense. There's a it lot does. of research on support. Yes. Um, you know, not as much on like boosting and all that kind of stuff, yeah. but it's about supporting what you have have. already Mm -hmm. and keeping it working the absolute best it can so that's what tomorrow we're gonna have split screen thingy yeah over on facebook not on instagram because we don't know how to do that unless we can figure it out if anyone knows we have to like take our phone and hold it and face that anyway we'll figure it out don't you worry good screen share but then we end up like upside down all right i think that's it does anyone have any questions if not, peace out, sauerkraut. Look, we've got now all these people are watching. Go back and rewatch it. We're getting more. Yes, and more rewatch people. it. There's some great tips. Seems like on... Wednesday and Thursday night are the the busiest nights. Yeah. Um, well, Thursday was last week, but you know, yeah. So it's a it's a work in progress. Love we're you too, Heather. We're, we're love Gosh, you, I can't, Heather. I can't tell you how many times I've said I love you to my patients, and why did it take this for us to say that? I know. Like you know, this you guys are our family. You are our friends. <laughs> you are our. You know, our reason for getting up, leaving our family, and doing what we do. (gasps) No tears. (laughs) Uh, Uh, I'll cry later. No one's watching. (laughs) It's a lot of tears. Yes. All right. On that note, we've got to go to bed. We love you all Mm -hmm. so much. We're grateful for you showing up and supporting us during this time. And we look forward to uh, being with you guys on Facebook only tomorrow night. Um, we love you. Lovey love. We'll see you soon. Love, Nighty love, night. love, love bombs. Bye. Come down.